Toronto Zoo is a great experience and an awesome place to visit for all age groups. It's full of adventures, attractions, mesmerizing views and much more than just being a home to a diversity of animals and species. And I believe that's why it's listed as one of the top 5 tourist attractions of Toronto. Hey everybody, so today in this video I'll be taking you through this very exciting place to visit with family and friends. And as you may know, the Toronto Zoo is the largest zoo in Canada with an area of around 287 hectares which is around 710 acres so like it's really huge. And I'll be sharing with you some useful information and tips which will make it easier for you to plan out your visit to this great picnic spot. So let's begin. The zoo is completely surrounded by nature and is located in the beautiful Roche Valley. The main entrance is on the Medieval Road and once you enter the zoo you will be finding a lot of parking space. The zoo is accessible by both private and public transport like the TTC buses, the Durham Transit and the GO trains and all details regarding the timing and schedule of these options is available at the Toronto Zoo website. The tickets to enter the zoo are available both online and on-site and the price will vary depending on when you choose to visit. So for winters the prices are cheaper than for summers which is the peak season and in addition to the entry fees you also have to pay a parking fee which is currently $14. And another interesting fact is that if you're planning to visit the top 5 attractions of Toronto then you can use a city pass and this place is a part of your city pass so you can visit this place anytime within 9 days from the day you first use your pass. If we talk about the zoo membership, I personally feel that being a zoo member not only gives you some additional benefits but it is more budget friendly option as well. And as a member, you will be entitled to unlimited admission to the zoo for that period and also you will be receiving additional benefits such as free zoo mobile rights, there will be discount on programs, zoo camps, etc. Various membership options are available like for an individual adult or two adults or family plans and we had opted for two adults and up to four children family plan which had cost us around $185 plus tax because we have one kid so this option was suitable for us and we knew that we won't be able to um, like uh, go through the entire zoo and see everything out there in one single day. Another benefit which comes along with your membership is that parking fees you need to pay only once as a member and it will be valid for your membership term. If you are going with your family and you have elderly or kids with you, I think it will be difficult for you to do a complete walkthrough in a single day because the zoo is like really huge. So you may consider buying a zoo membership which will be valid for one or two years depending on which option you prefer. The Toronto Zoo is full of fun activities and offers various attractions and adventures like the Zoo Mobile Ride, the Carousel Ride. There is a full greenhouse tour where you can find beautiful plants from around the world. There's a kids zoo, a Tundra Air Ride. Some options like the Gorilla Climb Rope are available only on the weekends. And currently the water fun splash island is closed. You also have some great options for camping and overnight pajama party. And that's like lot of fun. All options can be checked in details from the Toronto Zoo website. Moving on to food options, there are many well known restaurants within the zoo. 
you can check out the menu options online also you can bring your own food and enjoy your lunch at any of the picnic tables available at various locations throughout the zoo you can check out the locations of these restaurants from the zoo map if we talk about the facilities offered by the zoo it includes all of these apart from being a very clean and well maintained place there is a cute little gift shop where you can find a lot of toys t-shirts ornaments etc items which are available on rentals include strollers wagons wheelchairs electric convenience vehicle and lockers you can see the prices which are mentioned here and all of these prices were as on our date of visit to the zoo that was 4th of june 2022 next let's talk about the seven zoo geographic regions of toronto zoo each region has different variety of animal and species in each of these seven regions you can see different categories of animals they are displayed indoors in pavilions as well as outdoors just like they are in their naturalistic environments and we can view them from different levels to help you reach these areas within the zoo you can go on a zoo mobile ride to avoid having to walk a lot between them these rides will drop you close to the view points Currently you can enter the zoo any time between 9 am to 7 pm with some exceptions for certain days and for this before you go just don't forget to check out on the Toronto Zoo website the timings Well that's all for this video I hope you found it to be informative and if you want to see how our visit to the zoo was and experience a complete virtual zoo mobile ride then do check out my next video on that I'll share a link of it in the description box below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'll see you again soon. Till then, take care, stay safe and thank you so much for watching. Bye.